Hi, everyone. In this video, I'm going to show you how to capture the program code from your Create Performance task and turn it into a PDF to submit into the digital portfolio. Now, a lot of students forget that they need to submit their entire program code as a PDF so that the person grading it can look at it if they have questions about what they're looking at in the video. So let's get started. The first thing I want you to do is to make sure that you minimize the left-hand side of the screen so that the Scratch project that you designed takes over all the Codeo real estate. Now, the other thing you're gonna wanna do is you're gonna wanna make this window here on the right as small as possible so that we can see as much of the program code as possible. Now, the other thing is do not start to shrink down your code to make it all fit on one page. Okay, by doing that, it makes it really hard for the person who's gonna have to grade this to read. So what I recommend is only making the screen one minimize, that's it. One minimize from the regular screen size and scratch. Now, what you're going to do is we're gonna take screen captures of this and I'm gonna show you how to do this using a MacBook and then put it into a blank Google slide. I find Google slides easier to do this with. So right over here, I have another tab open with a blank Google slide, all right, called program code submission. And this is where I'm going to paste all of the program code screenshots that I take right now. Now, when I do this in a Mac, there's a little secret. A lot of people usually hit command shift four to take a screen capture, but instead I'm going to hit command control shift four. Now, by doing that, it not only takes a screen capture, but it copies it to your clipboard, which makes it easier to paste. Now, I am not going to put the teacher's name or the school in my picture because that's personal information that can help identify the student. And I don't want anyone grading this to know who the student is, okay? So instead, I'm gonna hit Command Control Shift 4 and take a screenshot of what I see on my screen. And then I'm gonna go into my blank Google slide over here, and I'm going to paste that picture, okay? It's that easy. All I did was hit paste and it worked. All right, now notice I have my entire program code right there. So now I'm gonna click on my next blank slide and I'm just gonna take a picture of the rest of it. I know I took a picture of everything up to Henry, okay? So I'm gonna then again hit Command Control Shift 4, and then take a picture of the rest of the code and then just copy it and paste it right over here. Now, don't forget, you need to not only copy it from one sprite, you need to copy your code from all of your sprites and put it in there. So now I would continue to do my command control shift four and just start copying over all my other sprites. Okay, now through the magic of editing, you will see that I have copied and pasted all of my program code into this Google slide. And now all I need to do is go to File, Download, and then choose PDF Document. Okay, it'll then automatically download a copy of this into my download folder, and I will have a PDF now that I can upload to the digital portfolio of my entire program code. Now, if you're gonna use a Windows computer or a Chromebook in order to make your program code PDF, I have instructions here in the assignment. All right, if you go down to number five, it tells you how to use on a Windows computer the snipping tool in order to make a screenshot. And then I also have instructions on how you can use Control Shift Switch on a Chromebook to also take screen captures and copy them to your clipboard. Now, if you're gonna be doing a project in Python, I would recommend using Microsoft Word or just Google Docs in order to make your PDF. You don't need to take screen captures. You can actually just copy your code, paste it into a Word doc, and then do the same thing, file, download as a PDF. That is what I would do if I was doing a create performance task in Python instead of Scratch. 
So I hope this video helped you. If you had any questions about how to make your PDF of your program code to submit to the digital portfolio. Good luck.